Okay, uh, let's do the minutes from June 21st. Everybody had a chance to, to look at them? Yep. Move to accept. I'll second that. All in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, aye. nay. Accepted unanimously. Uh, piece of information, Jonathan Edwards has resigned from the CPT. Um, he has resigned from the rec committee also. But on the good news, Chris Williams, who we talked about at the last meeting, who we didn't think lived in Whaley, does live in Whaley, and who we didn't think was on the rec commission, is on the rec commission. Wayne asked him if he'd be interested, and he said yes. Oh, so he good. couldn't make it tonight. He had a commitment tonight, but he's seemingly excited about being on this committee. Yeah. Yeah. I think he has to be appointed by the select board. I think he does too. Uh, but, mm -hmm. Which I'll I went to see Brian today and he was busy and I couldn't talk to him, but um, I'll, I will touch base with him on that. I got touch base with him on the technical assistant too. Mm -hmm. um, Amy Schrader respectfully declined being the technical assistant. Mm -hmm. Brian Domina suggested the new. Community Development Administrator. Community Development Administrator. Her name is uh, Sil Sylvie. Sylvie. Sylvie is her first name. Um, and I, I want to talk to Brian because it may be a better job for the assistant town administrator, someone who's going to be doing it in house rather than Sylvie, who's not really in the administration part of it. I don't know. I just want to pick Brian's brain a little bit more. He did suggest Sylvie instead of Jess. What do you think? Sylvie has a. Hi, Bill. <laughs> Bill, say hi. Hi, Bill. This way. What? Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. <laughs> hi, Bill. <laughs> Doing his exercises. Yeah. Um. I think Sylvia's background would be a little better. Yeah. I'll talk to Brian. Okay. I don't know Jessica's background. Yeah. Um, Jessica is very nice. I met her the other day when she was helping me untangle a mess. And but you know she's commuting from Pittsfield. So That's I hope Windsor, I hope, right? Well, it's Windsor, but yeah, um, yeah, yeah it's Windsor, right. right. Next door to Pittsfield, yeah. Right, right. It's a long drive for you know a pretty entry level well, for any job. Yeah. Right. Um, I, I sent around an article about Sylvie that was in the recorder today. I don't know if everybody saw it. Yeah, we haven't had a chance to some of it. some of her background. Okay. Well, I'll talk to you, Judy. I think it's important that you and I, or at least you, talk to her. Because you okay. can explain what, what's involved. Yeah, well, I can better. explain what's involved. Well, you you talk to Brian and get comfortable with Sylvie and or, okay. or whichever, and then okay. let me know. Okay, it's, it's, know, it's probably. Uh, did you did you talk to? Has somebody um, set a compensation level? You were no, now on your no, because I'm guessing it's going to be lower than what Sylvie is being paid. For her yeah, but she can do it from home, which, which, which may be which may be fine for her. I, I'm not. Yeah. I'm, I'm just commenting. I'm but, not. Yeah, Judy says, but she is able to do it from home. Right, and she lives in Northampton, I think, according to the article. Yeah. Well, that's where she she is a native of Northampton, where she lives. Okay, now. all right. I I, I honestly only looked but, at the headline. But I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's not enough. Maybe she's, you know, it's her job is a big one. It's one of those you get pulled in. Sylvie, this is you get pulled in a heck of a lot of different directions, um, and it, it can become huge. Okay, well, let me talk to Brian. <clears throat> Excuse me. The project down at Hurley Field. Um, I have talked to Wayne. He has given us. Some updated information. I don't know if you guys all had a chance to look at it before the meeting. I sent it out to you about three hours ago. Have you guys seen it at all? Yeah, 
Yeah. All right. Well, you want me to go through all the questions we had and give you the answers? And then sure. we'll go back to the, I think that's the easiest way. All right, we asked about in what sense is the application time sensitive? Um, their answer was the best time to plant trees, which we discussed last meeting, is in the fall time. Um, and I asked him, well, what if we don't have town meeting till October? Will that be too late? He said, it may be, but we'll, we'll be able to have, at least have the trees on hand to plant first thing in the spring. They can buy them and store them and plant them first thing in the spring rather than waiting for a, a town meeting in April or May or whenever we have it. And mm -hmm. he also made the point that by buying the trees in September, a lot of these nurseries are looking to get rid of their stock. For the winter time and so you might get better prices mm -hmm. um does the application relate to the cpa grants awarded in 2021 it relates to the park grant <clears throat> i guess in the park grant they had asked for money for the fence and that's what they came to the conservation commission for um for the it's the same fence the 110 feet of fence that you guys approved, approved. Yep. But they ran out of park money, so that never got done. Okay. So the project, the fence itself, has been approved by the conservation. Yeah, and that's good for a couple of years, so they're set for that. So. They're okay for that for two years, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, risk and co uh, cost estimates. We got one cost estimate for the trees and the planting of the trees. And then we got another one from one fence company. They're supposed he's supposed to hopefully get another one today, but obviously he hasn't. But we'll be getting a competing quote for the fence. The recommission um, voted last night to endorse the project. We'll be getting copies of the minutes shortly. I already told you about the, a member from the commission being on the CPC. I'll talk to Brian about that. <clears throat> we'll make sure that the select board appoints. Now, as far as the trees, he's got an estimate for about $7,000 for the trees themselves. And then Snows came in with a estimate of close to $17,000 for the trees and for the planting of the trees. So it's like $10,000 worth of labor. And Wayne just kind of laughed at that. He says, Jake Schrader has a spade <clears throat> on a bobcat. He just digs a hole, you chop the tree in, done. And it's not a big deal. So that's the way he's looking at going. Buy the trees, they plant them. He went as far as saying, I know where there's some nice oak trees that we could dig up and replant, which is, <laughs> that's the way Wayne is. <laughs> so he's definitely looking out for cutting costs. I have, a, I have a neighbor who's trying to give away a dozen or more baby red buds. She actually took seeds from our red, but they're good red buds. She took, and she's uh, but, yeah. but he doesn't want to plant red buds, so that's. <laughs> but if anybody on this call wants red buds, she's wanted to give them away. <laughs> Bill, Bill loves them. Let me ask him. Yeah, no, it's really. I mean, they're, ba they're babies. They won't, you know, they yeah. won't be full size trees for a while. So with that, right, and the, and their cost estimate doesn't actually include an estimate for the cost of planting. Snows, right. does. Snows does. Yeah, but no, no, but the, what they've asked for, what they asked oh. us, yeah, what the oh, request, it, it, the, the application, cost. the application. Right. I mean, not that we wouldn't, I mean, I, personally, not that I wouldn't be amenable to, you know, <laughs> a revised estimate if they really needed it, but. No. But, I think they do but, anyway, don't they? Because if the trees are 7,000 and the. The split rail fence comes in at their eight seven thirty five. Then they didn't ask for enough money. Well, and they they've increased the, the first application was for fourteen three fifty, and 
this is 14.5. It just, I mean, we should just, when yeah, we, but, but whenever that would we be, know. That would be 15.7. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah math, yeah. Huh. In other words, the, the attachment that says project cost is out of date. That's what you mean. Yeah, that's that's the old project cost estimate. I see. Yeah, but even the new one, yeah, is, is not right, yeah. So the split rail fence estimate is the same. The trees are more expensive. Yeah, trees are two hundred dollars more. Yep. Well, that's got to be. No, the trees are. No, you, no, Alan's right. Yeah, forty-eight. Was, yeah. More like. We were fourteen, and you went to four uh, sixteen. Yeah. Anyway. The bay berries are the same at sixteen hundred. Some reason the fence price went down. But... It did. Well, no, there's a miscellaneous cost that wasn't there before either. Well, that may be the peat moss and fertilizer. If you if be. you look at the text and the yeah yeah, I was having a hard time coming up with the seven thousand dollars. If you add up the trees, it doesn't come to seven thousand. So well, I, that's why I'm not sure that those trees. Are the same. I, I'm not 100 percent. Either it's seven thousand, or he's got. I'm not sure those trees on the project cost are the same as the cost that they're looking at now. Because, well, I don't know. Maybe, but anyway, it's still. Um. Looks to me, he's got like two thousand dollars worth of fertilizer and peat moss built into this. But then that wouldn't make sense either, because it'd be over fifteen thousand dollars if the trees and the fertilizer were the seven thousand that he says in his. Yeah, if it's seven thousand and the fence is Eight. almost nine thousand, right, oh. right, he's almost sixteen thousand. <laughs> Oh, the other question I had was this the LNL estimate mentioned something about bumper posts. Yeah, and I don't know what those they are. Weren't, I just, they weren't included. And if they're in the plan and not included, um, they evidently didn't weren't sure how to quote that. Okay. So that's another potential cost. As far as the old fence, he said that they would probably the town would go through and pull it out with their excavator and make yep. a pile and dispose of it. So it sounds like the old fence is going to be taken care of by the town. Any other questions other than what? I think we should wait one more month to get some competing quotes. It seems like they're not quite sure yeah, on their numbers. At least the numbers don't add up. Yeah, yeah competing quotes and a and a final re, a final estimate. Yeah. Right. Um, well, yeah. an updated estimate. I'm not sure whether he just included that project cost for. Yeah, I'm not sure he well, compares it. He obviously didn't make it come up, make it balance. The L and L quote wasn't dated either, and. Or, nor did it say how long no, it would it's not, be. It's not, even think, on, it's not even on stationary, right? I think, I think the prices that, have come down generally, but I'm not sure. I think it's probably a cut and paste from an email. That's my guess. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, um, I mean, uh, <clears throat> I agree, of course, that we, we should get one project budget where the numbers add up. <laughs> you know, of course, that's basic. I wouldn't mind uh, assuming when we get to the point of approving it, if we approve it, um, including some additional amount of money that we won't, you know, we'll get back if they don't use it. Because I do worry sometimes about the amount of extra projects that the town staff take on. And, you know, they might be at the same time. I, I'm not arguing for having snows install them, it, it's expensive. You know, snows. We paid for snows to install the veterans park. Um, 
Well, Plant Jake tubers. isn't really town staff, so. Jake isn't town staff, no, no. So he, he would be doing it as a volunteer. You mean. That would be the point, right? It is. So you bring up a good point. I thought about it myself, Donna. With snows, you get the trees, you get them planted, and you get a warranty. And they take care of them. And they'll take care of them, right. For, sure. for a year, for a year, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, is, that, is that worth $10,000? I mean, it's really a question, you know, for, for Keith and Wayne together. That's, I mean, those are the town, you know, <laughs> there are no other town staff, right? <laughs> Except the people. No. Are, yeah, and, and I mean, Keith's got, I don't want to speak for him, but he's he's got to finish the sidewalk project in town center this fall because of the yeah. grant. Uh, I mean, it would. It's yeah, worth if any other storm damage happens or anything, yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Neil's Neil's doing the same thing for finishing out the grant we made to the cemeteries. He's he's ordered the um, benches. The he's got the check for Swenson, and he's just recruited a neighbor who has a small tractor to you know to actually place the benches because they're too heavy for to pick up without a, a forklift of some kind. Um, <laughs> But it, that's that's uh, somehow I think having a, a volunteer offer to do it is different from committing town staff, right? Right, <laughs> right. Or somebody, yeah. The, I think the, Wayne needs to know that we're talking like this. We are concerned of whether that job will get done on a volunteer basis. And uh, he acted like it's all about saving money when I talked to him the other day. He said even that. He, if we go to out in the woods and get our own oak trees, well, then we'll just return the money back to the CPC, which I, I would assume he would. But again, with a professional doing it, you'll have a professional job. And trees with a better chance of surviving. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I think we've had some of the same challenges with the library. It's sort of interesting, you know, because um, I don't think we've ever said do this on the cheap, but um, and it may be perfectly fine. I mean, you know, there's a big difference if these things are planted in the fall or in the spring, I would think, because if, and I would get, I recently fall special town meetings have been in November, not in October, but if it were really urgent, they could call a special one in October for this, I suspect. Mm -hmm. But but if they're gonna be planted in the spring and we get another dry spell, they're they're gonna need some some good maintenance and some really good planting. Or another hard frost on the night of May 16th. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> you know, for example, not I mean, um, yeah, and last fall, sadly, you probably could have planted trees until the first week of December. It was so ridiculously right. warm. But you know, you I think we all hope that doesn't keep happening, right? <laughs> Very true. So so well, we about, Dr. Wayne, uh, if we wait till next meeting, which will be August. We can have our public hearing, uh, public hearing in September, which will be in plenty of time for any town meeting that might be coming. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. All right. Let's and, go over again one more time. What you want me to ask Wayne? <laughs> I'm going. To, I definitely want to ask him about the the fence quotes. Hopefully, there's two of them. I want to talk to him a little bit more about volunteers as opposed to the professionals doing it. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. Do we want to ask about the bumper posts or not? Yeah. Thank you. And, and where does the $7,000 come from? Well, or start from or, scratch yeah. and, and build yeah. a device. Give us, give us the, the actual. A balanced estimate. Yeah. Right, right. 
I mean, we if the number, am I right that if the requested number changes from the one submitted in June, that he ought to fill out a revised cover sheet? Yeah, or not? yeah. that'll be in the file. Well, the last, the last year I did it for them. I mean, if well, I did it for the library. For the library. The library, actually. You can go because we got yeah. all those emails, right? Yeah, right. it's possible to, it's Would possible be... to edit, edit <clears throat> that ourselves if we want. Okay. I think that's easier than him doing it. And, <laughs> probably. And Alan, when you since you're talking to Brian anyway, could you at least give him a heads up that we might want a special town meeting in October? Yeah. So that you know we don't read in the paper that they're planning one for the third week in September and then we have to, you know, for some other purpose. Well, we could probably manage to that too, but I, sorry, I'm being, or, or the first yeah, week of September. Right. I understand. Anything else? No. All right. Well, uh, talk to Brian just, June. just quickly, um, yeah. the, when Hannah was here, she got started on a housing production plan with FERCOG. I think we talked about it briefly last time. And the planning board has approved or accepted it, I guess, is the best word. So the final step now is that it goes to the select board and I think it open to the town for comment, but it's almost done. And when it is done, they will be eligible, they, the housing committee will be eligible for, well, then it gets submitted to the state and then the town falls into a better category for state grants for housing, of which there are quite a few now, so. And Megan was very responsive to the planning board's comments, and I will have to admit that I added a whole lot of stuff, but who, who <laughs> is the making fact that they're not limited to $200,000 of CPA money. Oh, good. Who, who is Megan? Megan Rhodes is, is for the FERCOG person working on this. It's it's huge and a lot of it is probably irrelevant but it's a format that the state requires and they check things off just i, I suspect very much like the open space plan but mm -hmm. but anyway that's that's progress good yeah. okay okay good So uh, for the minutes, when would, what's the date of the next meeting? First Wednesday in August is the 16th. Okay. That's the second that's the or third? third? We the third. normally do the second. We've, yeah, um, go back to the second. That'd be the ninth. Okay. Okay with everybody? Yep. yep. Okay. Yep. Nothing else? No, what time is it? This has been a wonderfully short meeting. Yes. <laughs> oh, hey, before you all split. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'm not going to turn it into a long meeting, but uh, I was just talking to Alan uh, earlier in the week. Or oh, last yeah, week. thanks, Doug. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, I did too until just the second, but. Um, I, I, I suggested that that it might be helpful to some folks, you know, who don't make out these applications or, or do that sort of paperwork regularly to have available um, some sort of templates or example applications, you know, that are sort of perfect um, that people could use as a guide when they're doing their own applications. Um, and I don't know if something like that exists at the state level or, or would, you know, and I don't, you know, I, I'd be happy to, to be the, the ignorant person who's filling out one of these applications, but um, I, otherwise I don't think I'm the person to do it. I'm not volunteering, but I don't know. <clears throat> Seems like it could be helpful. Yeah. Cause it should be part of public record if it's through the town, right? It would be part of, yeah. Um, yeah, should be something you should be able to have, get. We have that document online that talks about 
what the requirements are, what the eligibility criteria and everything are. It's, it's and, and a link to the form and the form is a fill in PDF form. Um, maybe I should circulate those links and people can see if it's what yeah, could be improved. But, but, I, but I think Doug's idea of examples of completed applications is a, is a really good idea. Um, in addition to that, Judy, yeah, just, yeah. I, I mean, I'm thinking no, that right. the, the uh, I didn't mean them to be mutually exclusive. Right, 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 right. right. I mean, the, the uh, this is now five or six years ago, but the application that Jonathan Edwards shepherded for, you know, as usual, I'm ignorant, ignorant something we did at Hurley He Field. <laughs> what was it? it was, was, probably, the ball, uh, probably the back ball field. The back ball field, yes. <laughs> that was, you know, be, it would be, I mean, you want you want to have a, you know, a good APR application and a good rec application. And we haven't had any housing applications, so we can't show any of those. I'd be curious to see what the coalition has on their site. Uh, the forms are, we designed that ourselves, so. Mm -hmm. Everybody's so everybody's application everybody's, form is different. Yeah, everybody's is different, so I don't think it would be that much help. Okay. Like if we have like a few like on the poster board, like in the town hall, like Doug was saying, just have like this is an example like of an APR application or like something for open space that might like you know somebody could look at that, get an like you said, get an idea. It, it, it's challenging because for so many of our applications, I'm thinking for the Waitley Center Woods one, the idea was always good, but my recollection is that we didn't think the initial application was very good because it was mostly just something they had submitted to the state. Mm -hmm. But by the end, we really had a good idea of what was, you know, what the plan was. Yeah. Well, it shouldn't be too hard to find a good APR application. I mean, Margaret did right. most of them. Um, and we've had, a, I don't know, this, the Cemetery Commission applications or... The Cemetery Commission are probably good because they're not, they haven't been hugely elaborate. You know, yeah. pretty straightforward descriptions of the work to be done. Yeah, right. And I, I think a useful a useful part of it would be, you know, a side note. You know, so this, there's a question on the application. There's an answer that everyone thinks is a really well thought out good answer. But then there's a little explanation as to why it's a very good answer. You know, th this this application has competing quotes. It clearly states the work to be done. It's it included uh, drawings where, where it was helpful. You know, that sort of guideline, in addition to the example of the, of the perfect application. Mm -hmm. Anyway, n nothing that has to be, uh, you know, conclusive tonight. It was just kind yeah. of a thought. That, yeah, no, it's thought. A good idea. I think I think it's a really good idea. Um, it, Judy, I should know this, but is the list of all the grants we've made uh, that's up on the website, right? Yeah, it's the project history. Right, right. So maybe we could start by having each of us just look at that list and sort of think, oh, this one would be good, that one would be good, <laughs> you know, and then just from memory. Yeah, okay. I mean, the rest of you, have, I, 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 well, I'm, pretty, I, have, I think I'm about eight years now, but, but the rest of you have been on consistently, right? Since the beginning, not you, Doug, I know, but. No, no, not me. Yeah. I have most of the old um, applications on file. Do you? Or on my computer. Um, so if somebody somebody comes up with one, okay. All right, we'll look. We'll look at the project history. If, like Donna said, we recognize something that oh yeah, this worked out very well. And if we can't find it, 
in our files. We can ask Judy and she'll look it up in hers. Another well, one might be the, the um, backdrop in the town hall. Mm -hmm. Right, right. That was nice and straightforward and it had illustrations and yeah. yeah. And then we can just go through it and we'll make comments on to, like Doug said, why that was a good application. They spelled this out and they spelled that out. Yeah. They did go to their appropriate There's the church committee. one too, but I shouldn't compliment myself. <laughs> <laughs> you should. Well, no, that, that would probably be a good one because it was not as simple and straightforward. And there's probably more opportunity to to identify, uh, you know, facets of it that were very well done or, um, you know, and why it was very well done. I don't know. Uh-huh. As opposed to the town hall application, which was, you know, for so much money, it's sort of out of scale. You know? Yeah. 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 Let's, let's keep it on the burner and um, we'll talk about it next month. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, let's take a look at some of the history of uh, the projects and see if we can come up with a couple of good ones. Yeah. Fair enough. Plans. Sounds good. Okay. Anything else? No. Nope. Enjoy the sunshine. Yeah. yeah. Right. One, more one more day of it. <laughs> <laughs> one more day of it, and then back to rain. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. Thanks. Thank you for coming. Okay. Everybody. Yep. See you in everybody. August. Bye.